okay guys I'm back with the new tutorial to how to model a flange in PTC Creo parametric so let's get started you open a new file and name it as flange and here is the flange that we're gonna model here it is this flange we're gonna model this flange so these are the three views of the flange this is the top view this is the front view and this is the slanted view to show this whole dimension so let's get started sketch at a plane we hide these planes and the axis and so what we're gonna do is we sketch a half model of this component and revolve it to 360 degree so let's sketch it so this is 26 because die is 52 next the height is 20 and next the diameter is 61 from the top view you can see that is the dashed lines that is the hidden lines so the radius is 30.5 so what, what I'm gonna do is add this 4.5 and then the height is next delete this constraint L1 and you get 3 now next is we got here so next is we are at 61 and next is the diameter is 124 so the difference is 124 minus 61 that is 63 so 30.5 I'm gonna take a line from here to here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the normal dimensions and give it 62 next the height is 9 so go back and draw a line vertically of dimension 9 and then I'm gonna move this distance from this point to this point so we see that the diameter of that circle is 88 and that is 124 so the difference is 36 and half is 18 so I'm gonna move 18 in that direction and next the height is 2 I'm going to delete this L1 and change this dimension to 2 and next I'm going to go 19 and next I'm going to go 4 up join this line to the center and complete this figure so now what I have is the half sketch of the figure given here and I'm gonna revolve this hit ok and I'm gonna revolve this sketch to 360 degree so first I have to define this sketch so click on the sketch and then define axis so I'm gonna define the axis and hit ok 
and then what I'm gonna do is is there is a throughout whole of diameter 39 so what I'm gonna do is sketch on this face sketch so I'm gonna take the references take a reference and add a diameter of 39 okay I'm gonna extrude cut it make sure to change the diameter direction it's done now what I'm gonna do is sketch this portion what I'm gonna do sketch in the front plane sketch so I'm gonna take a line here and take some references one and two take normal one two and distance of 15 make sure to coincident this point with this edge and make sure to give angle between these two lines is 45 make sure to give dimension between this line and this point as 58 now hit ok now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a reference plane by using this point and this line by holding the control button and ok now I'm gonna sketch on the datum plane and sketch now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sketch now let's make a point here and draw a circle of diameter 10 hit ok now I'm gonna extrude this circle up to the surface and up to that surface and hit ok now what I'm gonna do is bore a 3 diameter hole on that surface make sure to take references before and draw a circle of diameter 3 and hit ok now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna extrude that circle make sure to change the direction and hit ok now make sure to hide this sketch let me find that sketch and hide that sketch now I'm gonna see the different views that is different views in the wireframe so that is the complete tutorial on how to model a flange. Thanks for watching.